100, Scott here from SC Electrics, uh, reviewing the 160mm Mapex step cutters. We're going to have a look at them, see how good they are against a few others. We have standard mid range, uh, bigger version, but these are basically what we have, to, what we use daily. I'll take pros and cons of these ones. And of course, cheap as chips, but chip around. So, let's get in and see what we can do. First thing I'm going to work it on, because this is a size recommend, this is a size I should work in the box. So it's all right there. I'm going to work on this size marked in the box. This is 16 mil heels. Most of us should be familiar with this. So first of all, we'll use a knife X and just a wee bit of pressure. Not too bad. Very neat cut, as with most colours. There's a slight lip afterwards a wee bit. You wouldn't do much damage with it. And the other ones, these are our mid-range ones, which as you can see aren't VDE, they aren't red and yellow. Uh, they're quite cheap, they're probably about half the price. But usually that's all we use these here for is cutting tails. Now these, this particular brand, I find online Knipex, tends to rust phasey. Especially in the back of the van. Knipex seems to last a lot longer. I use side cutters, I use a lot of different tools from them. Uh, so these here, I see yourself and have to manually stretch them, need oil. But again, they cut through the cable. We have about the same amount of effort, but it cuts through, no problem at all. And of course, onto our cheap ones. And these were used for about two days, and I'm through in a drawer. And the reason for that is they are absolutely terrible. And I'm actually sitting here using all my strength to even get through it. There's a difference between cheap and quality. Now, that's the wee bit of a challenge. Let's see. Let's give them a bit of a roll, see how well they actually do. This is probably on the outside of a size they can actually stretch to. Now, I would love to use SWA because that would really show how well they can cut. But the only problem is, and I've got another pair of colours like this, as it says on them, if I can get through the focus, eventually, do not cut steel. So that can't cut steel, that means, unfortunately, unlike these cheap ones, which will still send inside a tail bag for just this purpose, for SWA and cutting screws. These ones here, I'll ruin them. I don't want to do that. So we'll see how we fare on this. This is 6mm tough free core, which is really quite a thick cable. And it says just about fits in the jaws, that's why I picked it. So we'll size it up. And this goes through it real easy. The one thing I have noticed in these, it's not just straight grips. The grips are actually a strange angle sitting nicely in your hand. So whenever you're putting force in, you're actually putting force onto a curve. And here, it's actually sitting nice into your palm. Gives you a bit of extra strength, perhaps. Not entirely sure. It's quite nice. I'll try our mid-range ones in the 6mm. See how well they do. And to be honest, even these are stretched into the size of this. See yourself. Now, the, the big difference is I have a lot more leverage than these, so I should be getting a better cut. And I'm actually struggling quite a bit more, but it does get there. And for the real fun, I don't know if even cut that. I can be really, really surprised. They, they barely fit over it. But, and I, two hands to start it. I believe it or not, they're actually. I actually. That's actually unlike the usual step cutters. Now, the benefit of step cutters, in case you don't know, this is one of the disadvantages of using even like side pliers and stuff like that. As you can see, the cable's pretty much crushed flat. Uh, which is why we really want something that doesn't do that because that, whenever you come to work with a gland, that's going to be a real pain. It's going to be cats and everything else. The step cutters, however, unlike most of the others, because step cutters work, they cut singly at a time. So it's actually every time you pull down, it's actually cutting and cutting, cutting, cutting. I'm actually struggling here. So whenever the step cutters do a cut, it leaves it. And you can probably see the difference here if I can find it. You can see the difference between the round step cutters cut is still quite round compared to the crushed cable from the other ones. Really? Get rid of me too. 
quite sharp. Uh, I think I don't think it would struggle much if I put 25 mil tails. I might have to really open them up wide to get to them. But I think I would cut them quite cleanly. They don't crush. Uh, they cut very very cleanly. The idea of them is to cut one strand at a time. Hence the strange shape of the blade, which I'll show you. As you can see, it's a serrated sort of edge. So unlike a pair of side cutters, or again, unlike these croppers, they don't try to cut the whole lot at once, uh, which is a great, wee, great advantage. I've actually found with these tools that they don't oxidize and rust and jam up as quick. Uh, they tend to last in your tool bag a lot longer. Uh, it's Personally, it's I used to use a different brand. I changed to these about a year ago. Not this particular set, but this brand a year ago for all my side cutters, uh, even multi cutters, everything else. And I must admit, very, very impressed. This will be a good addition to the tool bag. Unfortunately, because it's a slightly different tool, I can't use it for everything that I use these for, which is mainly cutting screws and SWA. So, unfortunately, these will still have place inside my toolbox for now, until I find something better. That's all for now. Thank you all. See you again soon.